everyone and welcome to a sit down chat video. So by the title of the video you'll be able to see that I am writing a book! Yay! For years I've wanted to write something and produce a novel and I've always written and I've always got to like 10,000 words or 20,000 words and scrapped the story because I kind of rushed into it without outlining and plotting and all that stuff. But I finally, finally, finally worked out a plot line that works and smoothed out this story idea so I wanted to announce that I am writing a novel. I am almost halfway through and the reason why I wanted to make this video even though I haven't finished is because I thought it would be really fun to make writing videos as I go along and as I learn and as I progress and as I maybe improve. So I currently am in the first draft writing stage, possibly the second draft actually. The second draft or maybe the third draft. No it's the third draft. So I'm in the third draft writing stage of my novel which I am very very excited about and I thought I'd jump on here today and answer some questions that I asked over on Instagram. If you aren't following me on Instagram come and check me out at Benjamin of Tomes and stay tuned there for constant writing updates, reading updates and just general travel pictures and yeah I thought we could jump into answering some questions. Now if you also have any questions by the end of this video that I have not answered please leave the comments in the comments down below and I'll get back to them in episode two but this time I thought it would just be fun to kind of get this video going and directed by you guys who've asked the questions so let's get into it. So I had a lot of questions on this Instagram post which is really quite cool. Let me just check. We have had almost 80 questions on this Instagram picture which is wicked so let's go so the first question is from MCS books and he asks how did you go about planning the fantasy world slash story so I've always known I've wanted to write a fantasy story I love fantasy I like the freedom you have in fantasy and I also like the prospect of the world building and the mythology beh behind your fantasy world but to answer your question I literally sat down and did a spider diagram for those who don't know it's where you have a big piece of paper and in the middle you put a word or your title or whatever and you just draw off loads of arrows and you put one for mythology and one for setting and one for weather or whatever and I just built the world through exploring it in my mind. I also used Pinterest to create like mood boards for the world as well and finding inspiration. Um, so that's kind of how I plan. I just did a lot of sitting down and drawing and scribbling and writing and kind of putting together this messy paper of notes about my world and the mythology and I I'm really, really excited about it. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> so Drowning in Bookland asks, is it an urban fantasy or a high fantasy? So I chose to opt for high fantasy, but it might be light fantasy as well for the moment. Now it is set in a world, um, it's an, basically I've been describing it as hashtag gay elven story because it is a story about elves, but the main love interest is gay because obviously I'm gay, so I wanted to write about something I would relate to and that I wanted to read as a child. So we have um, a gay romance in my story and yes, it is high fantasy and it is elves. So that's very exciting. Exciting. I love it. And by the way, the Goodreads page is already set up. If you want to go and check it out, I'll leave the link down below. It's it's make says, if there is one thing the cover of your book needs to have, what would it be? Will you feature a map and all the of the world you created? Yes, I'll be featuring a map and on the cover, I think for fantasies, I love original art. I think digital art's really cool, like the um, Three Dark Crowns cover, I think that's gorgeous. But then I love digital art, like the Air Awakens series and the Changing's Journey. And I love, love, love art. So I am actually gonna be working with an artist on the cover. So that's very, very exciting. I've already found the artist and we are already in the early, early, early stages, so. Hannah Clark 1709 asks, who is your favorite character to write about and why? Now I have a collection of characters in my story who are kind of gonna be the main, main characters in it. And we have the my, the main MC, who I really, really enjoy writing. He's kind of reserved, but don't get on his bad side because he will sass you out. Then we have his love interest, who is very openly sarcastic and flirty, but also has a side to him, which he has like this built down anger deep, deep within him, which will just come out at certain times. I have another character who is a friend to my MC, my main character, who is wonderful and 
bubbly and open and honest and just an open book and she's really really fun to write about um, to the point where I already have like a novella story in my head for her and then um, another character who I can't wait to dive into more is there's a guard who is going to be really good friends with the um, main character's love interest I'm trying not to give away names um, who uh, they have a really really great friendship oh and I love Petra and Petra is the MC's first kind of like honey boo thing like they got like they're not in a relationship together but they use each other as a comfort blanket especially in the situation they are at the beginning of the book and there is that kind of sexual tension between them and I just find him really nice he's so relaxed and he's so blasé and he just is happy or whatever and he's happy to just do I love him he's fun I said his name too Petra Petra this is a fun one what genre of music do you listen to when you write I like listening to soundtracks like movie soundtracks and I've been listening to the Aragon movie soundtrack a lot and I've also been listening to the King Arthur film the one that's recently just come out that was directed by Guy Ritchie that soundtrack is so good for action scenes oh my god okay question if you had to describe your book with three words how much how would you uh British book that's from British book I would say wings shadows blood wings shadows blood uh, British book also asks also um, if there were any books you would compare to um, what would you compare I think you have the Shannara Chronicles vibe where the elves in my story are very human ish they're not high elves they don't live in trees they live in palaces and shacks and little farm villages but they're elves so they're very humanoid in the sense that they're like the Shannara Chronicles but then you have the Shannara Chronicles meets Ang the Avatar the Airbender because we have elemental control in the story which is really really fun and then I'm not sure about another one Sasha, I was talking to Sasha last night on, on FaceTime and she was saying some things that really did resonate but I can't remember it but it is like Ang the Avatar meets dragons I say dragons but they're not dragons but there are something and then Shannara Chronicles. Ev Gonisa says, do you have a specific writing schedule that works for you? I love writing every day. I normally write in the morning, but I prefer to write in the evening. So I normally write in the morning anyway, and then by the evening time I'm reading and I'm like, no, I wanna write. So I put down the book and start writing. I like to get a thousand words down every day. I like to see the ticker go from a thousand words every day. So I'll start at 36,000 and by the end of the day, I have to finish at 37,000. And it's the same, I have to see the the next thousand through every single time I write so that's like the main kind of writing schedule but apart from that I'm quite relaxed I don't normally write on the weekends but sometimes I might depending on the weather if it's sunny outside I won't uh, but yeah I'm not sure yet I'm trying to I'm working I'm still working out that timetable I'm gonna answer two more this is from Annie McWilliams 93 and she said what did your drafting process look like prior to starting I my drafting process prior to starting looked a mess and it was in this book now I can't open this book because this book is filled with different book ideas because you all get shiny new ideas when you're writing a novel and sometimes you're finding it a bit tricky you get shiny new ideas for other books and I have to write them down here but it's just a mess of writing and pages and then I did it digitally on my laptop as well and there is a really really great Great outlining graph that I found online which I've been using and I replicated it on Word and I'm kind of like filling out missing parts via that so it's all very visual for me I'm a very visual learner so I have to have everything in colors and bright and visual so that is how I pl plot an outline last question Julia Zandvilt says would you want to live in that story I would like to live in the story. I would really like to live in my story. I really like the kind of subtle, easy lifestyle of the world. They've lived in peace for a very, very, very long time. So everything is very, apart from you have the difference between the rich and the poor, um, the farm villagers just get on with it and they hunt and they farm their own food and they trade and that's how they make money. But they, it's a very like easy lifestyle apart from the hunting, which they all love and enjoy. So I would like to live in my world, especially if I was just a bystander in some random village that was not getting ambushed and burnt to the ground by the enemy. Ah! So there we have it there, all the answers I'm gonna be doing today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to let me know, know down any answers and questions down below. And I'll be definitely answering them in my next video. In my next video, I'll also be revealing the title of my novel. I have already revealed half of the title on Twitter, which don't forget to come and follow me. I post lots of mood boards. It's at Benjamin of Tomes. 
Um, all links will, will be down below. But I will let you know that the first part of the of the cover is cloaked. 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 Sounds funny when you say it over and over again. But I will be revealing the whole title in the next video, which will be coming up mid-July. And apart from that, I'll see you all again very soon. To all those who are writing out there, good luck. We're all in this together. And yeah, this is just fun. I'm not writing to get a publishing deal. I'm not writing about any like that. I will be self-publishing it. So yes! Thanks so much, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!